What's up guys? Rodney Barber here again for your film session from Sundays 46 to 23 when at Carolina, by the way, the most unique score in the history of football. It's never been done before. I did not know that before, but I know that now. Anyways, I got a couple of plays for you. And one, obviously, is Ronald Jones's run because let me tell you what, when you're on the goal line, you're trying to do one of two things. You're gonna throw the ball quick to the flat or you're gonna run a direct run. And we decided to go with a direct hitting run. And there's a couple of things I have to point out here. Obviously, it's a 98 yard touchdown. Um, and Ronald Jones does most of the work himself. And there's only one thing you show from the end zone copy is, is he gonna outrun Chin here? And yes, he does. Yes, he does. I think he got the scoreboard help from this. But from the end zone, you can really see what happens well in this run. Look, they, they got every gap covered. And most defenses, when you're down on the goal line, they put a guy in every in every gap and tell you to just plug it up. Like, make this a two or three yard game. But I want you to look at Donovan Smith, number 76. This is a great block, just reaching this defensive tackle and pulling him out of the hole, because you see, where Ryan Jensen is looking to help him, to double team, because that's where this run is supposed to go. But because he does such a good job there, Ryan Jensen, who also did a great job filling in at left guard, Fowler Marpet, gets up to the second level. That gap is sealed, and Ronald Jones does arrest himself. Great jump through a tackle there, and then it's off the races. And you know what? It reminds me of a 98-yard run once that I had to chase, and that was Shelton Quarles, our own Shelton Quarles in a Green Bay game. Dumb me, I ran all the way to the end zone and then had to go play defense again. Eh, lesson learned. Anyways, other side of the ball. Look, this was uh, the very next play. And this game turned into a rout because of these two plays. There was that run by Ronald Jones, the Bucks come back on defense, and Teddy Bridgewater's next pass is intercepted by JPP. And it's not necessarily that JPP doesn't make a great play here. He makes a fantastic play with this interception. But I want to point out that the Bucks are playing good old fashioned Tampa two here. And you're saying, what? How's that even possible? You got Jamel Dean rushing the passer. Uh, you got uh, 90 uh, JPP dropping into the flat. Like how is this Tampa two? Let me show you. So it's Tampa two is four man rush. That is the definition of Tampa two. When you have a middle run through player, you have two seam droppers, number 90, number 54, Levante David, and you have two guys in the flat. In this case, it's 23, Sean Murphy Bunting, and your safety, 33, uh, Jordan Whitehead in the flat. And then you have two high safeties, 24, 31. If I stop this play right here, this is four man rush, middle run through, Tampa two, and Teddy Bridgewater is completely confused and throws this right to a place where he doesn't believe there's going to be a guy. You can see it best from the end zone because he feels a blitz here. He feels pressure, obviously from the right because the, the tight end blocks down on Shaq Barrett, who's playing defensive tackle in this position, and 35 has come straight to him. So he feels like this is a blitz, but in reality, there's two seam droppers there, and he throws it right into the seam, and then a great catch by Jason Pierre-Paul, who coincidentally had a nice PBU on a similar type action last week, catches this one and the Bucks went on their way to blowing out the Carolina Panthers. That was my film session. I'll be back next week. Big game at home, Monday Night Football, under the lights against the Los Angeles Rams. Look forward to it. Y'all take care.